by the grace of God, she's alive. There's one little bitty hole that she was in, and everything else is on top of it. Johnny Harris is talking about his 89-year-old mother-in-law, Minnie Adams. Adams was along in her Corinth home when straight line winds blew this giant tree on her house. She's got five fractured ribs, bruised lungs, and bummed up, scratched, and cut all over. Despite her injuries, Adams was able to call for help. She punched a speed dial on her phone. She had one hand loose, and she told my wife that the house had fell in on her, a tree had fell on her to get 911. She was rescued by firefighters and is recovering at the Corinth Hospital. The storm left its mark across Alcorn County, but most dramatically in Corinth, where high winds ripped away roofing and brought trees and power lines down. It appears mostly straight line winds. It could have been a possible F zero. Ricky Gibbons, emergency service director for Alcorn County, says thousands lost power after debris landed on the main TVA substations transformers. And it shorted those out, and due, due to that, there's, that was the majority of the power outage in Corinth as a whole. He's cutting a tree up on, off the shallow right now. Corinth's mayor, along with other department heads, spent Thursday evaluating the damage. They met with Coleman Crump, who watched his home come apart, starting with the shingles, his living room ceiling falling in, and his storm door ripped off its hinges. I ran and opened all my windows and went to the back of my house to open the back windows. And I got in the, in the bathroom and got down on my knees. Thursday, Crump was counting his blessings. Well, I'm glad that I'm alive for number one. Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. It's a lot to be grateful for. Now we're told power crews are working to restore service by tonight. Members of the National Weather Service out of Memphis will be touring Corinth to determine if damage was caused by straight line winds or a tornado.